Hi everybody, I have a homeschool curriculum haul to share with you today. We got our materials for our spring units, which are generally our science units, and we picked up these materials from a corn naturalist. I love their catalog. I let my kids go through it and they can circle the things that they want. I put little flags for the things that I want, and then together we order some of the most wonderful things for homeschooling. So, and I also love how the, the catalog has these beautiful illustrations in the front. And this one was for 2014. And then this is the new one for 2015. I know we're in 2016, but anyway, this is the one that they sent me with all of the wonderful stuff I got. So I encourage you to go check them out and you can request a catalog, which I find a little bit easier to go through. They're really great because they give like information about each of the products and I think that they're pretty well priced. Okay, so let me show you what I got. This is for our different nature units. We have some life science and some uh, physical science coming up. And this one, I love adding like something that's different than the actual unit into our unit study. So this is poetry, which I think is fabulous to add to a nature unit. And I started reading through some of these and they are just wonderful. I love poetry. I usually just don't know how to understand it, but these are really simple. I'm really looking forward to adding this to our unit. This one I thought was really cool. It's called Growing Patterns and it introduces math into a, like a nature unit. So it, it has pictures of different things that you'd find in nature, pine cones and flowers, and then it goes through and it explains the math behind it. I think this kind of book is going to be great for our unit. So we have a little bit of like language arts and then we have a little bit of math. And then this one, is called Ocean Currents. I really don't know much about this book. It looked really good. This is the teacher guide. I don't know if there were other materials that go along with this, but I am looking forward to trying some of these things out. You know, we live somewhat near the beach, so it's nice to know about what's sort of in our backyard. Okay, so this is, this next set, I had intended to just buy like a couple of these books. There's 11 in the series, and I intended just to buy, I actually don't remember which ones, the ones that related to the stuff that I knew that we were going to be studying in this particular unit, but I am so glad that I got the whole set. It was a little bit pricey. I wanna say at least $100. These are so beautifully illustrated. I absolutely love it. I haven't read through them yet. Of course, you can wait for that video where I review all the product, products that we've used. And I'm just looking forward to these ones. I especially like things that are hand-drawn. Even if this was done on the computer, it looks hand-drawn to me. I'm not crazy about computer illustrations. And so, I mean, there are a lot of computer illustrations that I like. However, I really, really like this. So, there, uh, this is the Arctic Tundra. I won't go through all of them. I'll just show you. So, anyway, we probably won't use all of them for our unit... Sorry if I was out of camera for those ones. Okay, so we probably won't use all of these for the units that are coming up for the end of our school year. I am recording this in March. I know you probably won't see it right away, but our spring units are about to start and those are all of our science units. And so this is some of the stuff that's going to go along with our unit. And then the rest of it, I will show you in a video where I'm putting together those different unit studies. I also picked up this one. This is the Earth Science Card Game by Professor Noggin. What's nice about these cards is that they come with different levels. Uh, so you have easy and hard, and then you have three different questions that you can answer. And I enjoy these. These are great as a review to a unit that you've done. Okay, so what else? We Let me save this one for a second. Let's do this one next. I'm really, really excited about this one. This one's called Paper Mill, and it has everything you need in order to make paper. So it comes with information. It comes with paper. I'm confused. And it comes with the stuff. Well, anyway, I am sure that I will have a whole video on our success and failures with this. So stay tuned. Okay. We also got another kit. This one is called make your own watershed kit. And I am really looking forward to this one as well. Oh, hold on one second, pumpkin. 
Woof, look at this. Okay, so this, uh, well, oh, that's so cool. Look at all the fun stuff. Okay, uh, I will also have a video on how we end up using this because uh, I didn't see directions. Huh. Okay, guys. Oh, <laughs> here are the directions. All right, so that is also coming up, and I've got one more thing. It is a flip chart for Earth Science. Yeah, can you give me 30 seconds? Okay, so this is the Earth Science flip chart and this is mostly intended for school like a classroom and the the paper is so nice it's laminate or it has a laminated feel to it so you can use a dry erase marker on this I'm sorry this is not my camera is not in the best position to show you this but I am looking forward to having this in our school room and that way the kids can just kind of kind of look at it. We can use it as reference material. Anyway, okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.